Like many who downloaded Steam when they first started PC gaming, I was amazed at the endless choices presented in front of me as I scrolled through the store. Being a penniless child at the time, the free-to-play section was calling me. One game in particular, with its colorful characters, explosive gameplay, and raving reviews, seemed to be the sure pick if I wanted to have a good time. Sure enough, this decision would go on to be hundreds, no, more like thousands of hours of fun over the next 10 years. Team Fortress 2 is a gateway game for many Steam enthusiasts everywhere. Anyone who started PC gaming back in the early 2010s is aware of the impact of this game, and very likely has it in their own personal game library. While many might say Half-Life, Counter-Strike, or Dota is the top masterpiece made by Valve, I think Team Fortress 2 might be my personal choice. TF2 often feels like the forgotten child of Valve, with Counter-Strike and Dota having thriving esports scenes that are consistently supported, and games like Half-Life Alex still getting the occasional new release. This isn't to say TF2 doesn't get any updates, or is a dying game, far from it, still typically being in the top 20 of current players on Steam, but it's not really a game that stretches beyond the Steam ecosystem any longer. I can't remember the last time I've seen TF2 referenced in any kind of video or game, while when I first started, I remember people like Jerma or Star constantly popping off of gameplay videos, highlights, and consistent uploads for the game. Shoot, I remember watching the Meet the Cast videos on repeat, with my personal favorite being Meet the Spy, which has an insane 54 million views on YouTube now. With all this in mind, I wanted to know if TF2 was still the same charming game I remembered playing back in 2014, or if my fading memory was all just a child's illusion. Booting up the game, immediately it feels like a new coat of paint has been added on the menus. It definitely felt like a more polished interface for finding games and changing settings, but it was already setting me down the path of thinking maybe things have changed. Searching for a casual game on official Valve servers sent me to 2 Fort. 2 Fort was never my favorite map. I'm not really sure why it was always the most popular, with the engineering den down by the intelligence, the constant scramble for control in the middle, and games never seeming to end due to everyone going for deathmatching instead of actually focusing on the objective. Okay, after saying it, I can see why so many people loved playing on this map casually. You just get to play any class or wreck havoc on the enemy team with no threat of actually losing as you have three engineers and four pyros down protecting your objective. Even with all this in mind, queuing up nearly a dozen times let me only the two port servers until manually adjusting the settings to get some different game modes. After getting into the actual game, I gotta say it feels almost identical to how it felt a decade ago when I first started playing. Your average match is a mix of people sweating to get kills, people congoing or emoting in the middle of the map, people playing weird weapon builds going for flashy kills, and then some rather suspect individuals spamming even stranger messages in the chat. Huh? Casual matches on official Valve servers would always give you this wide array of people, and even now in 2024, this remains the case. Another side effect of Valve official servers that has remained is the commonality of poor team balancing and steamrolls being relatively common. Probably another reason why so many people like 2 Fort with its much lower chances of this occurring. Unfortunately, outside of my praising of the gameplay and getting into a few good games, it seems to be a commonly held belief within the active TF2 community that the game is dead. Even within community servers, many of the player base is seemingly bots, idling, or trading for items. This isn't even to mention the cheaters that find their way into many games. While I personally didn't run into any cheaters in my time back, people on my servers often complain about cheaters in their previous lobbies. It's a shame that we can't see any bigger updates to the game to resolve these problems on the Valve official servers, and instead rely on the dedicated TF2 community to make solutions for them on their own. While I eagerly wait for the announcement and release of Team Fortress 3, I need to answer the question of if TF2 is really worth playing in 2024. Shortly put, I still think yes. Longly put, if you have played TF2 before, it's still the same game that you loved. It likely will never change, and that's good. But it's also kind of bad. You'd really want those negative aspects to have been fixed, but that doesn't mean you can't boot it up and have a few rounds with some friends. If you've never played TF2 before, it's hard to say go play this and learn everything about it, when most of your friends are probably going to prefer things like Counter-Strike, Valorant, or whatever the new hot shooter title is. I'd recommend trying to convince them to try it out together for a game night, or maybe even finding a veteran player to show you the ropes. I don't think TF2 is worth being the only game you play, but it's still worth the fun moments you can get from playing it every once in a while. Thank you so much for watching, and comment your favorite class! I've always loved playing Medic and pocketing a soldier on the front line, and I'm really curious to know about yours.